Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to another restaurant review video. Today is gonna be special because I'm bringing you guys to something very authentic from China, which is Sichuan Hot Pot. It's something that we eat a lot. And if you like spicy, you should definitely come over here and check this place out. This place is called Wei Shu Wu, and I'm gonna put the address of the restaurant down in the description below. It is a franchise of a hot pot restaurant straight from Sichuan, China. You're really gonna get the authentic experience over here. Today I'm gonna bring you guys in, show you guys how the food quality and how you actually eat hot pot in the authentic way. I'll see you guys in a bit. I've been here multiple times and I personally would rate this the most authentic and the best Sichuan hot pot restaurants in the Boston area. It is in Quincy, so parking situation is better than Boston. Now everything is ordered through kind of like an iPad, but it's not an iPad. It used to be just a paper menu and you just gotta tell them what you want. Now it's more convenient because they got English and Chinese. First off, when you get to a hot pot restaurant, you gotta pick soup base, like a broth. That's what they place in the center of the table. You can basically order Order all these kind of raw food that you put in there to cook. For the broth, if you order the spicy one, they will ask you if you want small, medium, or big spicy. So it depends on your resistance level on the spiciness. You can go with whichever one you want. I really like this new tablet way because you can just see all the photos and pick out what you want. And then it also tells you the total, which is pretty nice. This is what I meant by where they place the actual broth you order. This side is the very extreme spicy version with the butter. So you can see the butter is still not dissolved yet. When it starts heating up, it will. And this side is like pork bones broth. This is where we start. This is the sauce station where you actually pick out your sauce plate for you to dip your meat in when you're eating your hot pot. First, we grab the plate. I personally like the sesame sauce. Everything is labeled. You can just pick whichever one you want. They also got this green pepper beef sauce. Honestly, sometimes I don't even know what I'm mixing. A lot of peanut sauce. Definitely a lot of garlic. Just be careful though, with a lot of garlic, your breath is gonna smell pretty bad. Some scallion. And I'm gonna teach you guys something very special. Most people just do one sauce plate and that's it. Actual authentic way is you need what I just made, which is called a wet plate. And then you gotta make a dry plate. It's very simple. You literally just find this chili powder and you just shove it all in the bowl. For people who like spicy, this is how you wanna do it because the meat is gonna be spicy already and you dip it in that. I really like the presentation when they bring the actual meat to you. Most of the stuff you order here are gonna be raw. The basic idea is you just gotta dip this into the broth. When the raw meat turns brown, which I'm gonna show you in a bit, it means it's ready. The reason why I love this place too is everything is just so authentic, even the chopstick. This is like just the holder, it's not the actual chopstick. They give you this package where you just rip open and then you will see two wooden chopsticks in there. That's actually the front of the chopstick. All you gotta do is just put the wooden piece into this holder and it makes your chopstick way longer which is great for a hot pot. If it's too short you're gonna end up burning your hand I guess when you try to cook the food. This is a very famous dish from Sichuan China. I'm not sure the English name but in Chinese it's called Xiao Su Rou. They deep fry these pork they add like chili powder on it with like flour wrapped outside when they fried it. It's very crispy and chewy. You don't have to dip this in the broth you just dip it in some chili powder. I love it when it's fresh and hot. Very juicy inside with the pork and fat. It's just blasting in your mouth, it's great. Now we got a full table, which I'm gonna go through everything slowly with you guys. They also give you these oil. I'm not sure if it's sesame oil, but it helps to cool down the spiciness. I usually open the can and just pour it in that wet plate I made. I strongly recommend before you start, throw all these like fish balls or anything that's frozen in there just so it gives them a lot of time to get cooked. And also these sausage. 
Because these, even you overcook them, it's not going to affect the flavor or the taste. So you can just kind of dump all this in. The meat though, you should definitely do it in one shot. Second, you put the meat in. Once it's cooked, take it out because if you overcooked it, it affects the meat, the chewiness. And this is like shrimp paste. They make this paste with shrimp. You don't actually dip the whole thing in and eat it. They give you a wooden stick and you have to make little pieces from it. You see how you just poke it in and scoop it and it becomes like a piece. Once it's cooked, it becomes not as soft as right now. Like it basically makes a shape, which is pretty cool. Since now the broth is ready, I'm going to cook some beef to show you guys how it's done. You just dip it in the broth, kind of wiggle your chopstick a little bit. You gotta wait till the meat actually turns brownish color instead of being raw or red. Then it's good to go. This is how it looks when it's cooked. You just have to dip it in the sauce. I always love this style because you're kind of your own cook. The meat they serve here has a pretty high quality. I gotta say though, you have to be very good with chopsticks when you're eating hot pot. They also give you this kind of scoop, which I guess you could use that if you're not very good at chopstick. But it's just a better experience if you're good with chopsticks. Just be careful when you're using this chili powder dry plate because it gets very spicy. The meat really absorbs the spiciness when it's in the broth. And also for Sichuan hot pot, the spicy broth, it's not just spicy. It also has that numb spiciness because they add a lot of that little pepper in there. I'm not sure what it's called, but it makes it very numb. This is the shrimp paste that I put in at the beginning. Now it forms a shape and also it's not as soft. It's actually bouncy. I'm gonna dip it in the sauce. Let's try this out. It gets very hot. You can clearly taste the shrimp and stuff all mixed inside this paste. While you're cooking the food, I guess the steam evaporate the broth, so they will come over and add that for you, which is a very nice thing to do. Because it will end up going like no water and it starts burning the actual pot. The one thing I like about this restaurant a lot is a lot of pop up places, when they add extra broth for you, they put in water, no matter what soup base you pick. But here they actually put in whatever you order. So that's a very nice thing. Because if you add water to it, it just really makes that taste go blend. Now the fish tofu is ready. I'm gonna try it out. Fish tofu here is different. It's called cheese fish tofu. I'm not sure if it's just cheese inside or something like that. In the fish tofu, there's actually cheese inside. It adds that cheesy taste to the fish tofu, which is very different compared to the regular fish tofu. And believe it or not, I actually never ate spicy food before, so it's crazy how resistant I am to spicy right now. My bro here likes to eat pork kidney. There's a lot of stuff in Sichuan hot pot that you won't try. They even sell the pork brain. When they bring it up, it literally looks like a brain. I would never eat that. It's pretty gross in my opinion. I do eat this though. This is called the pork intestines. It's very good. I never eat intestine before until I started to get into Sichuan food. My friend persuade me to try this pork kidney. I'm doing it just for you guys. I'm gonna try this stuff. I'm actually nervous right now. I hate it when I eat stuff that I've never eaten before. Bro, you lied to me. I don't know, I think I just don't like the texture. It has that like jelly, soft texture, like an actual kidney. I mean, I've never eaten a human kidney, but I guess it's pretty similar to this, you know? I also like the sausage here. I'm not sure what it's called, but it has like a crispy skin wrap around it. When you bite into it, it's very juicy. It's just so good. It's full of meat, you know? It's not like the kind where you add a lot of extra stuff in it. Huh. Be very careful when you eat this. It does get very hot. One thing I wish they could do is having a bigger portion plate and a smaller portion plate. Because sometimes their plate does contain a good amount of portion, which is too much for two people. Sometimes when we come here as four people, it feels a little too less. So I wish in the future they could make different sizes and different pricing. It might be better. Another cool thing is the sauce plates. You have to pay one standard fee, which I think is three US dollar per person. But you can go onto the sauce station unlimited times and grab what you want. I like peanut sauce a lot, so I just got another plate of peanut sauce. To kind of switch it up, you know, you can kind of switch a different flavor based on what you dip it into. I always like these king oyster mushroom, which they're supposed to be huge, but they slice it into pieces, I guess, for it to cook faster. Kind of throw it in and once it gets soft, it's good to go. This is how the king oyster mushroom looks like after it's cooked. As I said, it becomes very soft. I really like the texture of these mushrooms. 
slippery but chewy taste when you put it in. So different to regular mushrooms, you know? Regular mushroom, you bite in, that's it. Tonight, I ordered three different kind of beef. We finished the first one, which came out in a very nice plate and presentation. Now, we're gonna try the beef short rib. And you can see the meat quality is definitely different. This is more in larger size pieces. Same deal, you dip this into the broth. And once the color turn, it's good to go. I think this is definitely a better beef quality though. It's definitely more chewy compared to the regular beef. And I like the texture a lot. These, I think it's called bean curb or something, but it's made out of bean. Very crispy. When you put it in the broth and cook it, it will become very soft. Really sucks in all the soup broth. Every bite into it, you're gonna taste that broth. And I recommend you to only cook it for around five seconds. Definitely not anything after 10, because it gets too soggy. This is how it looks after it's cooked. From that crispy shape, now it's like very soft. Always the best thing ever. Very spicy though, because it really sucked in all the spicy broth. These are the pork intestines. Look at that. For people who doesn't eat intestine, you will not like it. But for me, it, it just has this very weird feeling because you know it's intestine and it's fat in it. But when you bite into it, the fat is not really oily. It's just very chewy. And it has like a very good texture in the meat and it brings out this very good taste. Honestly, it is intestine, so I hopefully these intestines are very clean. If not, you know, that's where all the crap goes through this is the third kind of meat we ordered i'm not sure why they call it the soft beef i guess it's softer than the regular ones let's try it out this one though unlike the first two this one has a very thick texture again this beef brings out a complete different taste the previous two beef are very thin sliced this is a thick slice when you bite into it you can definitely feel the layer and also the previous two there's more fat mixed into it this one is almost all thinner meat there's not really much fat but it still keeps the soft texture which i'm actually very surprised i would definitely say all the beef today was very good all right i stand corrected i told you guys last time that matuna oyster bar had the best bill cover this one is actually the best full of chinese culture best part of the video of course is to talk about the bill for two people today came to 145 us dollars so with tips a little bit less than 200 so i guess it is pretty pricey it gets to almost like like 90 bucks a person for this amount you do get very full i honestly would say the restaurant is very good one of my favorite authentic Sichuan hot pot restaurant in boston area one downside as i mentioned before is their portion there's no choice of how big your portion is so i would say for one single person it's not really too friendly because You'll be walking in and if you want to get everything that we got today, you'll be spending the exact same amount as us because it's not based on the head count, you know, it's based on the amount of food you order. So I wish in the future they, they should have a smaller portion so if it's one person who comes in, they could try everything. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you find this video helpful to learn more about hot pot and authentic Chinese food. Any questions in regards to authentic Sichuan style hot pot, feel free to comment down below. I'll try to answer those for you guys. I'll see you guys very soon. Peace.